Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and today looking forward to sharing with you this fun remote controlled car. This was sent to me to review, to share with you some great footage as well. <laughs> And we'll dive in, I'll be sure to put a link as well where you could see what other people have to say about it. You can get the latest pricing and of course order it if it is something you're interested in. Appreciate you clicking on the link to get that information. Also be sure to let me know if you have any questions, I'll try and answer those. Uh, you can put those down below and if you are using it, what do you think of it as well? I'd love any feedback. Appreciate a thumbs up if this video is of help and a subscribe to my channel and I'll be sure to subscribe back to yours. So I appreciate the company sending it to me. Very nice car. I did push it to the limits. Obviously this is the box and you could see if there are any latest color options. Obviously I got in the red. You got this remote control. Good basic remote control, forwards, backwards, and then turning with the wheel. And we'll talk more about that. Uh, you get two battery packs. The battery packs come with this uh, charger, USB charger that you can connect with. I don't know why they didn't come with two of them, which I thought would have been smart, but you have uh, two battery packs. And we'll talk about the time. You also get two AA batteries that are not rechargeable that work with the remote control. You have the uh, in user instructions, uh, just some information here. It does use a frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. It's saying the playing time is 20 minutes. Now I was out there and I really felt like I was going far longer than 20 minutes, but it does say 20 minutes. Uh, the range, I was e easily able to get 30, 40 feet and probably can go further than that, but it says control range 20 to 25 meters. So the uh, batteries are 1.5 AA non-rechargeable and then the, ba the battery rechargeables are 3.6 volt nickel cadmium batteries. Now the battery pack goes right here on the bottom and there is a screw that you will have to remove. This, there's a little screw and they do provide a little tool as well. And once you unscrew that, then you have access to the battery compartment. And then you'll also have to unscrew the remote control. There is a lever here, and that's where the battery pack sits. Also on the bottom, since we've got the remote control here, I'll put that cover back on. And again, you could just screw that back in if you feel like you'd want to. You may want to, and just in case, as you're bouncing around, uh, and it helps protect the battery from you know, battery pack from popping out. So you got your on and off switch there. And then uh, for the front wheels, you can control that. Uh, so you want it to try and go centered. Uh, it, you can control that. There's a lever that says left, right, and then it's like a, a needle that you could move. So you wanna make sure, and I've had to adjust and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, for charging, the batteries, uh, battery pack, it says four to five hours. First time took a couple hours. And then when I uh, charged my battery after it was out there for a while, 
I uh, found within a couple hours to charge back up. So things seem to be a lot quicker, um, unless I didn't fully check, but I thought it was about a couple hours to uh, recharge. But on the safe side, you could say about four hours and possibly less. Now, when that does charge, as you can see, it lights up red, and when it's done charging, it turns off. So those are the highlights about the car. So let's really dive in now. Now, as far as this car, it's got some really nice rubberized wheels. They really grip really well. Uh, the wheels and each wheel has its own separate suspension, which is cool on the front and back. And it is four wheel driving. So you're gonna get a lot more power and you can see the adjusting that it can do as far as the suspension, both on the front and back. With the remote control, we'll go ahead and turn it on. So it just turn the switch and it lights up. And now we'll go ahead and turn on the car. So in order to go forwards, you press in. To go back, you push out. In and then out. And then you can control the, the car with the wheel. And you could see that's getting some pretty good torque and nice power. So it was definitely able to handle some good uh, grass terrain, uh, also some, uh, as, as well some other different types of uh, uh, grounds that we'll be riding over that I'll share with pine straw. <laughs> that I was riding over. There were some places where it was having a little bit of trouble, and I'll show you that, but it always felt like I can come back and then it would go, and so I was really, really pushing this to the limit. The one part I would say that was most difficult was to really getting used to the remote and controlling it, making sure it would go straight, because I was feeling like it was you know, weaving in and out all the time, and it was, it was having trouble adjusting, and it, you know, that's the fun part of these remote controls, you can uh, just you know get used to using it and have an adventure with it. Uh, but I did find it was a little bit more challenging. And I think for some youngsters, maybe they might get a little frustrated because they wanted to go straight. But uh, you know, practice makes perfect. So check out the video. Here you go, different footage of where I took the car out today to drive around and uh, be sure to Click on the link again in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy holidays.